This playthrough is rated M for mature. Please. Ah, uh, we, we get to saunter. To we don't even run. We saunter it. Stand in the center. So now we just uh, do what exactly? Enjoy making that pretty light with you, but with that done, what happens now? I don't know. We crossed beyond the far edge of my knowledge when she stepped into the center. Wait, where's Teresa? Well, this can't be good. Enough power to build a new world, and you waste it trying to save the old one. You're... You're Lucian. Open your eyes, Lucian. The ruins of the old kingdom are all around us. And soon they will be buried under the new kingdom. And you're looking at the new king. Pretender. Your fall will be hard, indeed. Um, deal still stands, Lord Lucian. That King Lucian. <laughs> oh, Reva, will you shut it? In fact, you can have these people for free. And so I shall. And you as well. Where is she? Your fortune-telling friend. What have you done to her? I merely listened. I should have gone out into the dark and found your body that night. But I was hasty. I let the bloodline flourish. And you have flourished. But this time is different. The last of the heroic blood will flow out onto this hilltop. Just as it now spatters the walls of your family home. Your wife is dead. I would have left it to one of my soldiers to do the unpleasant deed. But past experience tells me one must be absolutely certain of these things. Pitiful creature. Misguided and weak. The last time I killed you, tore my heart out. Of course, you're only a child. But then, so was I. Death is not your destiny today, little sparrow. Come on, little sparrow, wake up. Mum and Dad have gone out. You've missed saying goodbye. Come on, get up. It's beautiful outside. Come on. They won't be back for ages. We're going to have such a fun day. I've got so many things planned. Oh, what's going on here? We were on like a hilltop. A uh, guy told us he killed Lady Grey. Man, it sucks for her. She gets resurrected and then she gets killed immediately thereafter by Lucian. Yeah, if you uh, if if you have a wife, she says wife. He says wife. If you have a husband, it says husband. I think if you've killed your husband but you have kids, he says he killed your... Basically, anyone that's related to you or family-wise, he kills. I think there's like dialogue for each of that, but I don't remember all the ones. And then, the, yeah, the dog uh, ends up... Sacrificing himself almost for no reason because you get shot anyway. The chickens need rounding up, or we could kill some beetles, all sorts of things. Yeah, it's like uh, perhaps, uh, perhaps we're dreaming, or perhaps we never were that hero. We're still 
just the the little girl before she became corrupted by by whatever turned her to the dark side <laughs> or selfishness or whatever but uh yeah maybe may, maybe we're in heaven maybe we did die i mean teresa says a lot of stuff and we don't know if maybe it's actually true so or well i mean she's a fortune teller she's got to be all wispy and not entirely half truths and all that other fun stuff so what should we do first i don't know there's so much to do on the farm like what? Can we actually shoot the rabbits? No, I can't even... I can't even target them. And this is a pop gun, so it's not like I can... Come on! There's loads of fun stuff to do! Yeah, I won't let me really target them. Hey, can I shoot her? So you can have some shooting practice. Yeah, it doesn't do anything. Alright. Then Yay, you found one. See if you can find the rest. Is that all we're gonna do is just bottle hunt? Well, I guess I've heard of worse things to do as a child. There are loads of bugs in this field. Fancy killing some? Well, no one cares about bugs anyway, so everyone hates them, so let's murder some bugs. Beetle struggled bravely, but fell mortally wounded. Hey, no one hit me. Yes, away with it. I can't see anymore. Shall we do something else? I've set up some bottles around the place. No. Shooting practice. Brilliant. Brilliant, eh? All right. See what she say? Um, killing beetles, bottles. I forgot what the other thing she said we could do. Is I don't think we can do anything with the uh, vegetables or anything like that. This does seem like a perfect little world. No gripes, no quandaries, no no bandits, no crazy, no crazy like men trying to resurrect their families or using all the powers of the old gods or whatever you want to call it. Or old kingdom, I mean. I don't know why I said old gods there. Great shot. Oh, these balls are everywhere. How do you have the time, sis, to like put all these together? Oh, I guess I need to be closer. What? There we go. Nice one. What else is there to do around here? I mean, balls are fun, I guess. Yep. We're in the poppy field. Beware of the wicked witch. Yeah. Sleep, poppy, sleep. What if we can? There we go. I don't want to do that. As long as it's the. As long as it's the red, red. Uh, as long as it's highlighted red, I should be able to just straight up shoot it without uh without highlighting it, or having to aim for it if I don't want to. Oh. Makes it a lot easier. I don't know if we have to find every single ball. We might have to. Yeah, the ending. I I know what happens in the ending, but I'll admit I don't remember every little thing about the, the uh, the final like little bit here. Brilliant. Because of how long it's been since I played this section of the game. Nice one. There's a place to art. Oh, there's a place to fish. Can we actually? There's no highlight for fishing, so I guess we don't have to do that. Oh, you're gonna be so cold when you get out. Well, I guess I'll be cold then. It doesn't look like cold weather. It looks like pretty, you know, pretty good um, spring weather. I mean, it's. I mean, it's probably even perfect weather for Hitler. Springtime for Hitler. I wonder if anyone knows what that's from. Anyway, let's uh, find the rest of the bottles. Yeah, only so many more left. Nice one. Little book there. Someone to read. Mom and Dad are off having fun wherever they are at. Nice Where'd she say? She said they were uh, they went out for a while or something. Let's 
Say, let me, uh... <coughs> I was about to say, maybe let me hug the this top bit here so I can kind of... Great shot. You got any more lines of dialogue other than, other than the few you've already said? <laughs> Nothing else here. So, on to the other side of the, of the farm. I mean, maybe we can kick the chicken. Yay! <laughs> Even in a perfect world, we can kick chickens. I think I can do that. Round up all the chickens. Whoops. That was a fantastic day, but I'm worn out. Let's go to bed. Oh, we didn't. Ah, oh well, whatever. We didn't get all. We didn't finish everything. It's probably because I took too long. I don't think there's a. I don't think there's like achievement or anything like that. I don't think you get any reward for completing all the uh, objectives. At least I don't recall anyway. Yeah, she's she's not even responding to me. Getting the ball, so we might as well. Yeah, we'll just call it a... Yeah, we almost found all of them. Probably the other two were in that barn thing, I bet. Alright, time to bed. We had fun just running around for like an hour. Sounds about right for children where they're so hopped up on sugar that they're like, <laughs> and then they just pass out after like a little bit because they wore themselves out. Oh, am I gonna sleep in my own bed? Okay. Sleep. It's nothing, little sparrow. We're back to sleep. Wait, the gate's open. We can leave. Oh, and it's music too. Sorry, sis, but it, the music is so haunting. I must check it out. Oh, come on. Get back to bed. There's nothing fun to do here now. But this is boring and safe. I don't want to live like this for all my day. Actually, realistically, I would, but... Where are you going? I must check out that music, sis. Yeah, realistically, I'd be fine with a boring existence like that, but... But that's the difference between being a hero and being a, a lazy slub like myself. Mom and Dad would be angry. Weren't we, uh, weren't we uh, not abandoned? Um, weren't we, or well, I guess we were abandoned because we were orphaned. You'll get me in so much trouble. They'll be fine, sis. We're, 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 uh, we're rabble rousers, troublemakers. I must. Please, don't leave me again. I don't want to be alone anymore. But you're dead, Rose. You can't... There's nothing else for you. Please. I've got a perfect life here. Or if she has not <laughs> Of course, I scratched my ass. You'll ruin everything. Ruin who? Ruin what? Who? Just our perfect life in the afterlife? <laughs> Yeah, that seems appropriate to... My god. All the death, destruction. Who caused all this? Was it us? Well, maybe in one form or another. It's probably Lucian, more or less. Whoa. People got spikes and stuff going through them. Huh. 
What is that? Castle Fairfax looks so nice in the snow. If only we could live there. <laughs> Perhaps that could be arranged. For centuries, this academy trained the most supremely gifted sons and daughters of Albion, bound together by the blood that flowed in their veins. Can you feel the power coursing through you? performance that will be remembered for all time or at least as long as there are people around to remember it <laughs> you will make an excellent soldier dismissed the rules cannot be broken we will take whoever bears the dark sea and looking as youthful and spirited as ever. Aren't you a tricky one? Good for you. <laughs> the last time I killed you, it tore my heart out. Of course, you were only a child. But then, so was I. You have passed the test. Your rewards are the opportunity to confront your enemy and the means to destroy him. Take the box and go to him. I like the fact that during that little scene there, it actually shows you in the outfits that you were wearing at certain times or intervals that you were actually that outfit. So if obviously if you never change your outfit, you look the same either way, but the main reason I could tell is my weapons, certain weapons were the same and certain weapons changed in certain parts I remember wearing, so I thought that was kind of neat. Nice little tidbit of info. And this, oh, the magic, uh, the magic, uh, or magic, magic, uh, music box that we got so many years ago. I don't know if that, if that was just a, uh, conduit for something, but it helped, uh, it actually, was it made our wish? Wasn't it the thing about making wishes come true? Was the lore? Maybe it's not exactly the same, but huh? Must be all the slaves over here. Yep, time to time to end Lucian's reign of terror and start our own. What the? He's doing the same ritual. We must stop him, because that's my power. I want that power. Your power is astounding. Twice you've cheated death. Yet your abilities are trivial compared to the infinite power of the Spire, which will soon be mine. Now, sleep. Oh, no. <laughs> like, when you're in this scene, you can't tell that you have to use the music box, so... What? What is that? about what you're doing. I will put an end to chaos. Stop now, you fool! You insect! I order you to stop! I command Sleep, sleep! Consider that a victory. You're merely delaying the inevitable. All that you've struggled for will be crushed under the majesty of the Spire. Why? Why must you interfere? What are you fighting to protect? The world that robs us of what we love most? 
Is that what you think is worth preserving? You small-minded fool. Do you think you're the only one ever to suffer loss? I asked the world for nothing but a family, and even that trivial request was too excessive. Such a cold world does not deserve its own existence. The new kingdom will have no place for fate or chaos or hit. Oh, I thought he'd never shut up. Oh, I'm sorry. Did you want to kill him? Lucian's dead. So, what happens now? Now? It is time you gained your reward. Your gift for saving the world from a madman's selfish dream. The Spire has awakened, and it still has the power to grant one wish. Yours. Come. Take my hand. It's alright, little Sparrow. Don't be afraid. Maybe I don't want to. Hmm? Yeah, if you, uh, as soon as, obviously, for those of you who are probably more aware of game mechanics, as soon as the red aura surrounded Lucian, you could have shot him at any time. He was basically just feeling about how, you know, he'll do everything, and then obviously if you take too long, Reaver will kill him. Kind of like um, in Borderlands 2, when you beat Handsome Jack, same thing happens if you don't kill Handsome Jack. Oh, I guess spoilers for Borderlands 2. If you take too long and not kill him, uh, um, He'll get killed by one of the other NPCs. Uh, I forgot her name now. Uh, Firebird or whatever her name is. So anyway, let's finish the game and get our reward. Take my hand. Take my hand. You stand in the heart of the Spire. As the Archon of the Old Kingdom did thousands of years ago. Now it is your turn. Make a wish, but choose wisely, for it will affect all of Albion. Sacrifice. You may choose to revive all those who died in the Spire's making. But in doing so, know that you will never see your family again. Love. Those dearest to you, your family, even your faithful dog, will be restored to life. But their lives come at the cost of the countless innocents who died in building the Spire. Or wealth. More gold than you can imagine. To spend on whatever pleases you. But any you loved, and all the Spire's prisoners will remain dead and will not witness your newfound affluence. What will you choose? And then obviously you can choose, like, and this alters the end. Obviously you can still do whatever, but yeah, if you, obviously if you're trying, playing the good, true good hero, uh, so forth and so on, which you can choose any one, obviously, but it's just kind of, but if you're playing the super goody-goody, obviously you want to do the sacrifice and he brings everyone back to life, but yeah, you lose your, um, you lose your dog and your wife and everything with that, um, but, you know, for game mechanics-wise, you can still get, you can still get a dog anyway, but it's not the same dog, so obviously for those who maybe have a love for certain characters or the character you married you probably might choose love if you like marry lady gray for example because you know she's a unique character everyone else obviously is is someone you could just find over the course of the game so you might keep it for that but um but uh well we've been an asshole this whole time so why not why not finish it off with all the gold even though i have plenty of gold i can always use more gold <laughs> So be it. When you return to land, you will find wealth beyond the measure of man. And those who might declare you selfish or callous will be able to do little but bemoan their losses and seethe with envy. We heard everything. Yes, a wish was made, 
and the world will bear its consequences. Excellent choice. I'd have done the same. Reaver agrees with your choice. Is that how low you've sunk? All the dreadful things you've done, I figured, whatever it takes to get Lucian, so be it. But this, you know what? I pity you. Yes, 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 but on to more important matters. What about me? What do I get? Cash would be nice. That is up to you. I can send you anywhere from here. What do you wish? I wish to return home, to Samarkand. Oh, I've never been to Samarkand. Hot nights, exotic substances, and uninhibited people. It's nothing like that. Trust me, I'll find the exciting bids. Fine, but stay out of my way. Hammer? No, I'm done. I know why we got attacked in the cave the day we met. You brought those hollow men in with you. Two monks would have found nothing. But a warrior finds battle, always. I want to go north. Study with those warrior monks. I was so sick of avoiding violence. Now I'm sick of causing it. Goodbye, hero. I simply can't thank you enough for dragging me into this mess. Oh, I should tell you. I do have to make the occasional sojourn back to Albion. I have an obligation to some friends in Wraithmarsh. I had my doubts about you at first, but I'm glad we met, and we shall meet again. You can count on it. Guess I'll leave Albion to you. Not like I can do anything about it. You did some amazing things. Shame about all the rotten stuff. I guess this will be our last goodbye. Take care of yourself. Farewell, Hammer. And now it is time for you to leave. The world is yours to enjoy. But the spire is mine. Be gone. And thus, with uh, with Lucian destroyed, we have saved the world and and uh, and uh, p profited ourselves. And Teresa gets the spires. For what means does she mean to use it? Eh, who knows? But uh, I like these. I like these credits because it shows all the people actually worked on it. it. Shows their caricatures. Unlike other games where it's just you put names to it and you're like, okay, that's cool. But I mean, not much to it. But I, I kind of like the games that do stuff either like this or the games that actually show pictures of the people who worked on the game because it knows, you know, flesh and blood worked hard on this game. Now, is this game perfect by any means? No, it has some issues. It has some glitches. It has some clunkiness when it comes to, like, certain combat elements and other such things. And the ending does seem a little rushed. And, you know, obviously, there's no, like... Really, the big last big fight of the game is fighting the spire and all the enemies. It's supposed to be you fighting with all the heroes, which is cool in itself, but you don't really get to fight Lucian. I mean, you shoot him, or Reaver shoots him if you uh, if you wait too long. Um, so there's kind of a it's a toss up because some games you need that big epic boss fight, and then other games it doesn't make sense. And I don't think Lucian ever showed himself to be this like. Even though he's powerful, he had a different type of power, more manipulation and stuff like that. So having a, you know, down out brawl with him probably would have wouldn't have made any sense. Um, but uh, but I still like I still love this game after all these years. I think it's a vast improvement over the previous game by far. Just like I said with quests and PCs, characters and stuff like that. Because the first one was kind of it was so ambitious, and mainly because of people like Pierre Molyneux like throwing out all the stuff for when the people who were making it clearly couldn't do what he wanted. Um, but they tried. And same with this one. They added a lot of features that they were going to have in the um, previous game they wanted to have, and they added it to this one. Like I said, it still has its problems. But, uh, but yeah, then we'll get to the actual regular credits this time around. But most of the main important people will shut off there. But, uh, but yeah, I, still, I, I, I definitely like this one above the first one. Even though the first one was good in its own quirky way um like i said this one just takes it up to the next next level and like I, and i liked how there were a lot more 
major NPCs to interact with. Because in the first game, they were there, but you only interact with them every once in a while. And, and it was clearly they wanted to do something with them, but it you know they couldn't add all of them, so they only put in a couple, and that was it. But in this game, you know, they had you know Hammer, Teresa, uh, Garrett or Garth, and um, I don't know why I call it Garrett for a second, and Reaver. You know, all different personalities, and I do like how at least at least Hammer kind of got a character arc where, you know, she even states it. She she didn't want the peaceful life, want action, and then when she got it, it was too much for her to handle, and then she wants to go back to being peaceful again like she was before. And yeah, the, the ending dialogue is slightly different depending on which uh, choice, if you choose to either sacrifice love or um, or uh, or selfishness. Obviously, if selfishness Reaver, Reaver says, yeah, that's what I would have done. Uh, smart on you. Um, I think you get a better response from Hammer if you choose uh, either sacrifice or love. Like she's like, oh, I can't believe you you know, gave up your love of your life and your dog for that, you know, that type of thing. And then, um, and she, I think she mentioned something about how she's sad that you didn't save everyone, but she understands that type of thing. She, I think she mentioned something about her dad. If you, if you choose the love option or whatever, um, uh, I think Garth's responses are the same either way. Cause he's kind of neutral in a lot of that anyway. Um, and I thought, you know, the story, though, being simple, I think it was just engaging enough to, you know, it's kind of like the first game where you were, you know, your family was, your your home was burned to the ground and you became a hero to basically, uh, you know, kind of get revenge on it, depending on if you were a good or bad hero. And then you kind of just get wrapped up into the uh, Jack of Blades story after that, you know. Although this one, they make it where Lucian affected you directly the whole way throughout the whole game. Although it isn't until like maybe like at the beginning of the game and then more at the end of the game that Lucian really is more of a, an immediate threat to you at all times. Probably because he didn't really notice you were alive at that time. Um, but uh, Lucian as a villain of overall, I don't know if I'd say he's one of the more memorable ones, but the fact that you know at the beginning of the game they... They introduce the son of a bitch must pay mentality by him killing your sister and trying to kill you. I think is always a good way to go because obviously you wanna you wanna power up and beat him. And obviously I I probably playing the way I should. I probably should have shot him as soon as I got the chance. But I wanted to show people what happens if you choose to wait and let him monologue forever and show what happens. But, uh, but yeah, I probably should have shot him myself. But the, basically the same thing happens as he you know he's surprised and he falls off and dies and then they just. I think Reaver says something about uh, about uh, good job if you. I was about to kill him or something like that, but uh, um, I thought the music was excellent, like always. Uh, a lot of a lot of good uh, ditties throughout the whole game. Uh, I think uh, I think Danny Elfman did some work on this game, kind of like in the first game, but I don't think he did as much. I think it was the, the Shaw dude or whatever it was did most of it. He I think he still had some. Uh, helped with some of the music, I think. But, yeah, he mainly did most of the work for the first game. I don't even think he came back for the third one, if I remember correctly. That's probably why the music does sound a bit differently from the first and second one, because Danny Elfman did most of it in the first game, and the second game he only, I think, was consulted on it or something like that. I'd have to look it up. Um, uh, let's see. And I thought the quests were... Well, actually, uh, quests, I'm not sure about that one, because I think they the, the quests were a little bit maybe better in this game than the first one. Although the first one, a lot of the quests were based off you trying to, you know, because you were working for the organization or heroes organization, you had to do all the things where you had to either, oh, do it with no damage and and uh, all this other stuff to get more money and you were competing against Whisper, which obviously was never fully implemented in the that game. Well, this one was just your standard fantasy quest or whatever. So that's why I kind of like the first game's quest a little bit better, just the whole bragging rights, but they decided, I guess they didn't like the feature or didn't work for this story so they decide to uh to leave it out which i i sort of understand in that case um this is another in the second game i kind of wish like in the at least in this well uh sorry i was i i was going to the next tangent without actually talking about what i was talking about um uh and then romance options in the game at least in this game well actually no i guess technically in the first game you could marry lady gray as well I kind of wish they had a few, same with the first game, I wish they had a few, like, one or two extra characters that were unique, um, that had, like, a bit more personality outside of the, 
you know, they say, oh, I love you and all this other stuff. I kind of wish there was, like, more options. It's kind of like another Lady Grey, like a couple more characters. Kind of like in the first game, I wished Whisperer would have been either a love interest or at least more of a rival. You know, at least a better implemented rival, anyway. Uh, let's see if I recognize any of the voices. Uh, nope. Uh, at least not that I... I mean, most of the voice actors are going to be British or European for the most part, so it's not surprising I wouldn't recognize most of them. Unless some of them did the voices for the Dragon Quest games, which most of them are voiced by either Canadian voice actors or British voice actors, it seems like, at least for the English dubs of those. Um, James Corden, I think, is he, a, is he a talk show host or something like that? He, I think I think I remember someone saying something about some one of the characters seemed like James Corden, so maybe that was... Is it James Cord? Or maybe I'm misremembering. Anyway, I could be wrong. I might be misremembering it. But yeah, I, I kind of wish they gave you a few extra unique love interests and in it's just a like that would have their own quest lines and stuff like that. Now, unfortunately, the third game kind of does the same thing too. That there's only, if I remember correctly, in the third game, there's only one unique love interest. For the, okay, oh, they used some of Danny's music for the first game, so. Uh, but yeah, I swear he did some, like, consultation for this game or whatever. But anyway, um, but yeah, they, they kind of, I mean, I, I understand why they do, they don't do the, like, a ton of unique love interests because it's like, well, I mean, it's all about being able to play the game however you want, being able to have all these different people that are love or kill or whatever, all these different people, so it'd be take too much to program, you know, a whole unique love interest. And unfortunately, I can't really say, oh, they should take my ideas to heart because they're, you know, the studio that made this company went, uh, like, closed down a few years ago. I heard they were tr gonna try to bring back the games, but at, as of the, the time of this recording, um, that's still on the back burner, so I don't even know. And they were gonna do this really interesting game at one point, but um, that kind of got canceled, unfortunately, and I don't even know if it was gonna be any good. The concept sounded interesting, but it wasn't gonna play like your standard fable. It was gonna play a bit differently. Um, and then they have the the uh, Xbox Connect uh, game or whatever it was. I never I have that one, but I haven't actually played that one. Um, and then there's the third one. Oh, I didn't know Nolan North did the male heroes uh, voices, huh? Uh, Sally Safrati uh, Safwadi. I'm I do not recognize that voice uh, name at all. So she's probably done some work, but uh, yeah, Nolan North, man, he's he seems to be in every game. It seems like. Um, I'm trying to think of if there's anything else to really add to it. Yeah, a lot of the monsters are the same. No, no side quests really. I mean, there were some funny side quests in, in this game, at least. Uh, I was trying to remember if there was any side quests that really uh, bounced out. I remember there were the twins. I think they were supposed to be twins. The twins with the the Normanomicon or whatever it was. Um, oh yeah, the humor in this game. I thought the humor was pretty on point from the previous game where it had its dark set of humor. It's very British, very dry in a lot of places. You know, you can just kind of tell the writing style of it. It's definitely different from American or any other uh, comedy. Uh, which I, I, you know, I mean, I like my own comedy, but I think the British comedy has its own charm to it. You know, that it may not make you laugh out loud, but it'll make you chuckle and when you realize the either the silliness or the wordplay or whatever on it. Um, yeah, let's see what else is there, if there was anything else to talk about. Unfortunately, I can't talk about the online component because I didn't do anything with that. You could actually have other players help you during the course of the game, but I never did that. Um, gosh, uh, yeah, this game probably took me a lot longer than it probably should have. I did, I did uh, dick around quite a bit throughout this whole game. I kind of wish I'd uh, maybe prepared this a bit better. I did near the back half of the rec of this playthrough I kind of got a bit better about kind of showing off what I uh what I wanted to do and, and going through quest lines so there was less little me meandering in the later half of this playthrough overall than in the beginning of the game because the beginning of the game even though there was a story I still kind of meandered quite a bit and kind of dicked around so much so well thanks for working on this game Zavala and welfare man must have been must have been part of the team for quite a while. Sad to hear that. Um, but yeah, I think this game, game's still great. It's definitely worth buying. And luckily, you can buy this game. And uh, if you want to buy it, there's multiple different places you can buy it. You can still find it on the Xbox Store. I believe you can... I think you can buy the second game on 
on online stores now, like Steam and stuff like that, at least at the time it was recording. I believe you can. I think you can buy all three of the, the Fables um, at this point, but uh, um, that's pretty much it. Well, for the story, main story anyway, obviously we're not done with the whole game yet. There's still there's still me getting the rest of the uh, the Silver Keys, uh, which I'm only missing like a couple. Same with the Gargoyles. I think I'm I'm only missing like one or two, and you have to beat the game to uh, access the last little bit of the uh, um, content. And also, there's not whole island and the uh, snow globe. I still have to do, but I'm gonna save those for bonus episodes. Um, I might do. I don't know if I'll play those immediately. I might. Well, actually, I was about to say I could take a break, but the thing is, I've. I took like a break from this for quite a while because I recorded like a bunch of episodes back to back, so okay, maybe I will upload these like soon afterwards. But uh, but yeah, now after we beat the game, we go back to the main area and we can do any side quests we might have missed that weren't time dependent, um, amongst other things. Uh, Retribution. You've avenged your sister's death and ended Lucian's plans. Your destiny has been fulfilled. Your selfish choice in the spire has earned you fabulous wealth, but has also earned you the scorn of Albion. Teresa's note. The note reads, The wealth you wished will await you in the chamber of fate. It was there you discovered your true nature. It was only fitting that you should find your ultimate reward there as well. The chamber of fate. Is that where the, the heroes area is or whatever? There's the spire. And now Teresa's got a hold of it. Will she use that spire for evil means or selfish means it's hard to say we never really get an idea of what i mean it seems teresa overall seems to have i wouldn't say a good nature but she seems to generally like when you kill people and go about that she kind of feel uh, she's like oh you decided to kill her or whatever oh, you... wait what are you doing oh, what gotcha. murder what are you talking about murder am i being am i being uh <laughs> fine i'll just pay it have 500 gold whatever who did i murder are you talking about lucian i didn't even get to kill him Whatever. Um, but yeah, now that we've beaten the game, I can go. I don't think. Uh, I don't think any new. Let's see. Yeah, we still have. Uh, um, we still have the. Uh, the collector reward. Um, I guess. I guess since that officially finishes, the game I'll I'll at least do that and then we'll call it a call it an episode. I'll probably split it up into two um at the end of this just because of how long both both are gonna be. But uh now that we've done that, yeah we can go finish up any side quests, gather any treasure and other such things. Um but yeah um in the bonus content I'll do afterwards I'll do not whole island and the snow globe and finish off the rest of the gargoyles. Not this episode, but uh let's see how much money we get. <coughs> We get, uh, what was that, a million? Yep, we get one million gold, even though I had a million gold from before. Oh, and the description just says it's it's money, how you spend it or whatever, but yeah, you get a million gold, so even though I've got, how much money do I actually own, or have? I have five million gold. <laughs> Jeez, it's just like a drop in the bucket. Oh, man. What other quests can we do at this point? I know we can, I'm just trying to remember which. Uh, yeah, we got that. Oh yeah, we can finally finish the uh, archaeologist uh, side quest, which I think there was only like a couple left. Um, yeah, we don't need to do that anymore. The West Cliff. I don't know if I'll... I'm I'm still trying to decide if I want to show off trying to get the gun on that one. Um, yeah, we can still sacrifice the shadows. Um, I've already done the Brightwood Tower thing, didn't I? Why is it still there? Huh. Oh yeah, now we can buy Castle Fairfax, which I need to do actually to get the rest of the silver keys and and gargoyles. So, all right. Well, I hope you enjoyed uh, my playthrough of Fable Two. I know it wasn't the most perfect one, but I enjoyed playing all the same. And I hope you had. I hope something along the line made you enjoy it or had fun at how bad it was or or a joke or something like that. And uh, yeah. Um, uh, for any bonus content, I'll, yeah, I'll do the rest of the gargles, the keys, not whole island, the globe thing. And uh, after that, I'll consider doing another game for my collection. What'll it be? 
Well, it won't be Fable 3. I think it'll be a while until I record Fable 3. I'll, I'll eventually do it, but it'll be much farther down the line. But anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.